Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about a feature that hasn't been uh, made into a video yet, which is really what we're doing today. Yes. And uh, it's about how to export pictures. And uh, all of our pictures can be exported in all the standard formats, which is a big deal, right? A lot of, a lot of people, um, they try to lock you into using their product by using proprietary, proprietary formats, not GIF, JPEG, um, PNG. Uh, but it kind of backfires because it means that they then have to provide every feature that you might ever want to use your symbols with, like all the features of PowerPoint, all the features of Word, things like that. We use a different approach, right? We use standard standard formats. If you want to take our pictures out of lesson picks and use them, use any tool you want, right? There you go. Makes it easy. Makes it easy. And uh, it means we don't have to be a bad PowerPoint and a bad Word and things like that. You know, you, you can use any tools that you want. So we're going to show you how to do that today. Uh, we'll use a couple different tools to show kind of how that works. And uh, we're going to show uh, pictures that you just got done drawing. All right, you added a new turtle. Hey, look, it's a turtle. It's He's a... a turtle that teaches social skills. Oh, look at that. Can he like take, he can breathe and count to 10 and uh, he can get hurt? Whenever this turtle gets very upset, he tucks in his shell. Oh, like this guy. He gotcha. stops. Take some deep breaths and maybe counts and then thinks of a solution to handle it before reacting. I like how he's, sometimes he's red. He turns red. <laughs> yeah, he's, I think it's important for kids to know that everybody does get angry. Everybody gets frustrated, that these are not bad feelings. Right. But you can manage them if you know some strategies to help you. So. Which is a great reason to make a turtle video. But oh, we're we making could. an export video. I love this. But, right. You know, um, you can use the pictures very easily, but a lot of times I want to put them inside a newsletter I'm writing or something unique, a PowerPoint presentation that I'm doing with the kids. Right, or Google Docs or whatever it is you want to work whatever with. Whatever tool you're working with. All right, so let's take a look at how we would export these pictures in order to use them in another feature, in another tool, okay? Okay. All right, let's say <laughs> we need the, the, the turtle... Uh, counting in his shell. There you go. And so this picture, I clicked on him. This shows the details. I want to use this picture in a PowerPoint presentation that I'm making. So I don't drag him to the tray. So I, you don't have to drag him to the tray. Okay. You have a couple different ways you can do this. If you just want a picture to copy and paste and you're not worried about resolution and it's just it just needs to get into PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. If you're logged in, you can right click. You can say copy image what I do all the go time. Go into PowerPoint and say paste. Okay? So paste. Oops. The other so, paste. Right. So I just made a mistake. I pasted him as a bitmap. If I had just reached over and hit control V instead, uh, it would have done a normal paste, which mm -hmm. works. So use a control V uh, or when you paste, just make sure you paste it as an image, not as a bitmap. There you go. Okay? So this works. Uh, if you zoom in, you'll see he's not real high res. He's not going to be perfect, um, but he's probably good enough for 90% of the time. I think he looks pretty sharp. Right. Yeah. So if you end up in a, in a tool that, does, that he ends up coming in with a black background or you need a high res picture because you're going to project, project it on the wall or for whatever reason, or you want to edit it in um, uh, Photoshop and, and do something interesting with it, you can also export the picture. So let's go back into Lesson Picks. And you'll see right underneath this picture of the turtle, it says Export. And you can choose your format. So these are standard formats. P PDF, I think everybody knows the PDF file. It's like Acrobat format. SVG is for people who are really geeky like you and me. We do a lot of SVG editing. It's a standard, it's a standard vector uh, graphic. Uh, sorry, scalable vector graphic. It means that you can independently edit every part of him. So this green face, the, the shell, everything else come in as separate um, vector shapes that you can edit. PNG is almost certainly what you want, 95% of the time. If you're exporting pictures, you want a PNG and then you can choose the resolution you want. So we'll take a very high resolution PNG image and hit export. It will actually download that image right here and I now have a high-res image, which I can zoom in on. It'll stay sharp of the turtle tucking in his shell. Mm -hmm. Okay? So yeah, this he's is He's still drawn with pixels, he's but still, he's quite large. But he's high-res, right? Yeah. So 
If you want to do um, things that are truly vector based, the first two, PDF and SVG, will stay sharp. They will never turn into blobs. I'll go ahead and show what it looks like when you download an SVG file. If you have a tool like Inkscape installed, which I do, uh, Inkscape is a um, an editor. Whoops. That popped I, up in a tab. Yeah, hold on. So if I export it and I say open with System Viewer. There you go. It'll open it up in uh, Inkscape, which is a vector editor, and you'll have full ability to edit this picture completely. But you can't right? drop this image into Word or PowerPoint. Not without exporting it again from here. So now I'm inside of Inkscape. I have the vector image right here, and if I wanted to change, for example, oh, I don't know, this arm or, that's been joined. So mm -hmm. if I want to change the, the color of this guy uh, and make him, I don't know, red. So this is for true geeky stuff. True geeky stuff. Because you, you can change color right within Lesson Picks and yes. not go through all this fuss. No. But I mean, if you want to shape, change like the shape of his head. Right, and you can right? grab the nodes. And you, you can literally, you know, you can like warp him. You can you can do all kinds of craziness, right? You can grab these and And there right. are our users. There yeah, are there's people, people who do this. Do that, this. Absolutely. Manipulate the pictures. If you want to play with these images, if you want to like delete text out of an image, if you want to change things, mm -hmm. you can do that and you're allowed to. Mm -hmm. As long as you do what you're allowed to do. You're allowed to use it in your classroom, your home, and your therapy practice. You can't sell it on Teachers Pay Teachers. You can't give it away. We enforce that with copyright law, not technology. Okay. Okay. I did see on the drop down mm -hmm. you talked about three of the four. What's the difference between JPEG and PNG? All right. So JPEG is another one that lots of things will accept. Uh, it is what photographs come out as is a JPEG. It is a lossy compression, which means that it's going to get blurrier, but it's going to be a much smaller file size. So when you've got a great big image that comes out of your iPhone, you want to have that shrink as much as possible. With these images, it's usually not necessary. And then uh, it does not support transparency, which means if you get a JPEG image, you will see that it will always give you a background image. So this, this turtle, this white here, is not um, clear. It is truly white. So if you put it in front of something, it's going to have a white box around it. So it's usually not the answer. JPEG is almost never the answer for what you want. If you think you need JPEG, try PNG and see if it works. It usually does. Okay. okay that's right. A couple other things about exporting your pictures. Um, so let me show you kind of once you've exported a picture, how you might import it. So this is Google Docs. Uh, you can do the same thing we did with, with um, PowerPoint. So you can do copy, go in here and hit paste and it will work. Isn't that great? That's great. That's great. Drop it right into Google Docs. It works fine. Put them in uh, an Excel sheet with yep. colored cells. If you want a high res one, you can go insert image, upload from your computer. And then if you find that image I just downloaded, which is going to be in Kinda here hidden. somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure where it is. Uh, we have a, a lot in there. I know. <laughs> That's a great picture. Turtle. You'd think, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, let me see. This is a great video. <laughs> turtle counting. There you go. So turtle counting. So if I wanted to take this picture and upload it, I can. And you'll see now that's a big image that I imported there. Uh, so that works fine because it's a, a standard PNG image that I exported. Okay. Last yeah. thing I want to show on exporting pictures is the Word plugin. Oh, okay. We have a whole video on the Word plugin. So if you want more details, feel free to take a look at that. But as long as we're talking about it, um, we're here in Word. If you have Word, go under Insert, and right here where it says Get Add-ins, click here, and type in the word Lesson Picks, right here. Lesson Picks, one word, hit Enter, and you'll see you can actually get all the Lesson Picks symbols right here. And now you don't have to copy. Now and you paste. don't have to copy and paste. Um, I'll log in using the same credentials I used before. And so now if I want a turtle counting, I can do a turtle counting. Do a normal search right here within Microsoft Word. Grab the same guy and it will drop straight into Word. So if you've got a bunch of pictures, you can put them in your tray first. And now you can do all the normal Word stuff, right? So you can rotate him. You can do the drop shadow. 
You can so it's really cool to use this Word plugin, and it works in Word on all PCs. All PCs, uh, 2003 and newer, something like that. Um, but yeah, so you so you can do that as well. Okay. So that's a much faster way. But if you have a Mac, if you have a Mac, it is not our fault. Please don't be mad at us. <laughs> the minute Microsoft supports the APIs we need on a Mac, we will make it happen. Similarly, this should work in PowerPoint and um, Publisher as well, and Excel, and it doesn't. And the minute they support what we need, we will be the first ones to do it, I promise. So other applications, right-click copy, right-click paste. Yep, if it's Word. Or export and save on your computer. Yes. Yep. Excellent. All right, so I think it's pretty easy. I think we, uh, uh, if you have any other questions, hit the help button and uh, ask us. We'll be happy to answer any about how to export. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.